it's really funny that every time I go to like, speaking engagements, and people actually always ask, hey, what are some of the books that you read that has changed your life? I find this question really funny because at the end of the day, it's like, I truly believe more than 90% of the people that actually know the books that they should be reading, they never read them. And even for the 10% that actually buy them, go ahead and go on Amazon, they buy it. I'll say another 50% of them never really read it. Just my gut feeling. But anyways, um, and yeah, it's really funny because every single time I go to speaking engagements, people would actually take pictures like crazy when it comes to like book recommendations. Every time they talk about, or if there's a slide that comes out as, hey, this is a book that I read that is super effective on marketing, for example. All the phones would be out, and all the phones, everyone would be taking picture of it. So, which is the reason why I felt like, huh, just like people find a lot of value in, in knowing the resources to dive into, but not really ever taking the action to implement the teachings from the books. Just my little rant. But nonetheless, there are actually two books that changed the trajectory of how I function in my business and how I view business. And the first book is e Myth Revisit by Michael Berger. I really, really enjoy this book because it really teaches me about how that as entrepreneurs, we wear different hats. As if we have different roles. We have an entrepreneurial role where we come up with crazy ideas that we want to be able to you know, solve big problems for the world. That's the entrepreneurial hat. Now, I also need to be wearing a different hat, which is the manager's hat. To be able to manage multiple aspects and multiple arms of my business. To stay organized. To actually manage it piece by piece when it comes to business development or operations. Very different from the dream to, for the, to the visionary of being the, the, the entrepreneur. Now the third role that you need to take is the mechanic. As a mechanic, you just need to like go get your hands dirty and just work in your business to get shit done. Right? So many of us fail to realize that as a business owner, we only take on the hat as a visionary. We only think about how to solve problems for the market. But we fail to understand that at the same time, we also need to put on the hat as a kind of willing to get our hands dirty to actually go through the grind. It really, really brought things into my perspective. Oh wow, that makes a lot of sense. And this book also taught me how to create systems and processes that prevents you from doing redundant work. And what I mean by that is, if there's a task that is that you're day, doing day in, day out, why don't we document it? Why don't we document it and actually create a procedure so then that way we can actually start training other people to be able to help you complete these tasks because it doesn't require a lot of thinking, a lot of processing. Because as a business owner, your greatest asset is your ability to solve questions and come up with solutions to bring to the market. So this book has really taught me so much. I I read this book when I was when I was more than ten years ago. It definitely changed the trajectory of how I do business and how I function in business. Now, because of the fact that I always recommend this book, the question always pops up. It's like, okay, this book is amazing. How has it changed your life? Well, I actually created my first business that expanded from Vancouver to Toronto from this book. I actually had the confidence and had the know-how from this book as well. And from this book, I was able to build a business that I was eventually able to sell two years ago. My first very exit was thank you to this book give all the credit to this book because it taught me about how do you become the three roles as an entrepreneur. How do you create systems and processes that I can actually teach other people. And because of having that framework and structure in the business, I was able to eventually sell this whole business and 
allowed me to expand beyond to Toronto. That's the effect of this book. Now, having said that, this book's not going to do any work if you're not going to do any work. So, you know, that's the effect of this book. The second book that I recommend that has changed my perspective of business is The Monk Who Sold His Ferrari by Robin Sharma. This book is a lot less tactical. It's much more... It allows me to actually gain an insight and perspective of what is truly important. A lot of times in my previous videos I talk about mindset as being a really important thing. And that understanding values is very, very important. And it really all comes back down to this book. It talks about how this really, really crazy, successful financial lawyer that's driving a Ferrari, that has like everything he wanted in the world. Quit his career, sold his Ferrari to pursue the true meaning and purpose of life. Now as, as crazy as it sounds and as, as spiritual as it sounds, there's nothing spiritual about this book. It has nothing to do about, about that at all. It has everything to do with the stories of how do you put your thing, yourself in perspective when viewing life, when viewing how business connects with your life. Um, I'm not going to dive into any stories because I'm not good at it at all. But this book is the number one book that I give to my friends, my family, relatives, colleagues because of how much it has changed my life in terms of perspective on us. I think without this book, I wouldn't be, I would probably be driving a Ferrari you know, because I'd be working so much more than what I've been doing for the last 10 years. But at the same time, I think I'm going to be most saddest person because all I know is going to be work. All I know is going to be the material things. So I really do thank Michael, not Michael, but Robin. Yeah, both Michael and Robin for teaching me, showing me how do you do business, perspective of what business does to you. So at the end of the day, it is so, so, so important for us as entrepreneurs to have the proper mindset and proper perspectives. Now, I'm not telling you to not buy a Ferrari or, you know, not fight for the most materialistic things ever out there. It's not about that. It's about having a perspective of what these things do to you and to not let these things define who you are. And at the end of the day, these books have also taught me how to create systems so that now we can scale and grow your business. Because at the end of the day, that's what we want to do. We want to grow, we want to scale, we want to have a happy life. These books have taught me these two big lessons. And I hope that I'm able to give this gift that I've received from them to you as well. Leave in the comment section below what are other some of the books that has changed your life and your journey. I'd love to know.